hello guys welcome to another video session and in this video today we will be going to talk about auxiliary routes in angular auxiliary routes in angular are also known as named outlets so this is the very uh, profound capability in angular applications and angular supports multiple router outlets which you can named as uh, kind of an extra outlets and in which fragments will be going to move on i will also show you the implementation step by step and will be going to show you the demo application on which i am uh, working nowadays so these are the things actually we will be going to uh, profound in next steps so before going into the implementation we will be going to talk about what auxiliary routes really are and why we need those to implement in angular applications Auxiliary routes are defined as named outlets and like assume that in application, in Angular application, there are two type of uh, router outlets. One is the primary router outlet on which your main uh, routings are being going on and fragments will be going to change. And on the other hand, where you want to like give a look and feel of pop up or you don't want to navigate the real page, but you want to uh, on opening of pop up, you want to change the uh, address bar uh, kind of a uh, router. So those are actually the main uh, real life examples to implement the router outlets and auxiliary routes in your Angular application. So in my case, I was actually building a portfolio website and in that I actually want to I actually want to navigate a page on the uh, top of actually the banner by having the left or right transition elements. So, so in that manner, I also wanted to change the address bar URL. Like assume that on the main page user is and now user want to go to check out my portfolio. Then when he clicks on portfolio, so rather than navigating the whole page, uh, the page or the named outlet being performed in the address bar and those are actually been coming on the uh, transitioned uh, main uh, div elements. So let's move on the implementation uh, step by step and we will be going to check out how we need to implement auxiliary routes. Okay. So uh, this is the global state service which I have created and in this in this global state uh, service what I did is I created a behavior subject named is page animate right so in this I am uh, I will be holding a false or true or a boolean uh, very uh, boolean value so that on this is page animate variable so i will be subscribing this to my header and my main app dot component so that uh, that navigation and uh, that navigation of the main uh, page will be going to performed and auxiliary routes will be also been coming on the next step okay so this is actually the is page animate which i have created and i've also created a setter method uh, which will be going to set it the value of this behavior subject either true or false so by implementing uh, by implementing the router outlets in your application so uh, here you can see so currently uh, my version of the application is angular 18.20 which you can see so here in the uh, we have uh, app dot app dot routes dot ts file and in this file what i did is i uh, initialized uh, outlet key value pair so this is a property in uh, when you are defining your routes so outlet is the property where you need to define your uh, outlet so in my app dot component you can see this is on line number six this is the uh, this is my main router outlet which is called the primary and here on line number three is my uh, named outlet which we called as auxiliary routes right so this is called the named outlet which i created with the name of pages right so now what that what what it does is actually this is this will be going to create your uh, primary uh, router fragments and here on line number three this is called the uh, auxiliary route implementation of your main outlet right so here uh, now the uh, the pages which you want to navigate in your named outlet so you need to define your outlet uh, property right so in outlet property i have defined as pages right you can see experience portfolio tech talks and certifications publications owner and awards these are actually the pages which i which i want to navigate in this uh, named outlet called pages right so that's why i have defined those and this is the one the first one uh, which is the main uh, which is the main outlet and the primary router called home page component and this this page i don't want to navigate on the named router so i didn't define outlet key here 
and right so this is and also uh in the app dot component you can see i have uh, what i did is like i have created the page animate uh page animate div and in that i have added is show and hide so this is for applying transition element from left to right and right to left so in the css uh, if i can show you the css you can see is like it's kind of a, a position fixed and right is uh, right zero and height is actually right minus 100 so that the whole page will be vanished on the right side when it will be hidden so this is uh, these are actually on the home page component side so if we can move further so okay so inside uh, this app dot component you can see uh, this this is the behavior subject which i'm subscribing so this is we have created is page animate right so this is the behavior subject you remember i shared here in the global state service i have created this is is, an, is page animate right so this is uh, the one which I'm calling inside app.component.ts file to because behavior subjects are broadcasters, kind of a broadcaster when you hit uh, some event from an other component and you want to continuously listen to that broadcasted or changed value. So there we use behavior subject in Angular. So is page animate, I'm continuously listening to that broadcasted value, which is triggered from the header component. So this is uh, an is page animate is my Boolean uh, variable here in the app.component.ts file. So what I did is I added a ng class here. So if anything being triggered or user have clicked on any uh, named page, like kind of portfolio certification and whatever. So it will be going to uh, show and hide the main uh, named outlet, right? So now if you can see also in the header component, so this is the header component where I have uh, multiple routings, uh, multiple routers I have defined. And these are, this is also, uh, you can see on navigate function, right? So on navigate is when user clicked on the header, any header item. So it will be going to trigger that behavior subject and setting the value of true. That means now the named outlet will be going to appear. So th when this is being triggered, app dot component automatically listening to that value continuously. So when it went to true, that means the transition from right will be going to appear that the extra named page will be going to appear on the screen. So in, on the second step, what I'm doing is I'm navigating and this is how you can uh, navigate to your outlet uh, pages, right? So these are actually the outlet pages on which you are being going to trigger. So here is the pages. So pages is also the same name. As you remember, I have defined in my app dot router outlets here. Outlet is pages, right? And this is also defined here uh, pages router outlet. So this is what happened in the uh, header type script. So this is going to be uh, trigger your uh, application, uh, trigger your main uh, named outlet fragment. So that's this is actually very straightforward. And uh, in the header component, you can see I have uh, added a event of on navigate. Uh, sorry, click event uh, and which is being going to trigger on navigate function. So. <clears throat> in the header component so this function will be going to call and this is setting the value into that behavior subject broadcaster and app dot component is continuously listening to that so when it will be going to triggered as true so this named outlet appear on the top of the screen so let me show you uh, like how how that application will going to work so this is my portfolio website uh, which i am been currently working on so now you can see this is the main uh, behavior. Let me refresh it. Okay. So I'm using a GSAP library in it. So GSAP is kind of a, a JavaScript based uh, scroll trigger based animations you have to apply. And also like on, on the top of it, like you can see here in the top bar experience portfolio tech talks. So this is the header component from where that broadcast started updating the value. So when I click on experience, so that broadcasted value is uh, changed into that uh, service to that behavior subject and due to which app dot component is continuously listening. So the named outlet main div, uh, which is actually been uh, having the transition from right. So that's been appearing. So when I'm closing it, so in the header component, there is a close, uh, there is a close method, which is written also. So it's been closing to that or that, 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 that is in the app dot component. So if I can show you, uh, 
like how it's been working on. So from app dot component, you can see there's a close function, right? So when I'm hitting the close, so what is what it will do is like it will be going to update the value of that behavior subject uh, here. So this has been setting as false, right? So once it's been false, so navigate is also been applied as uh, like empty. So this is how it works when you when you see when I click on experience. So it's been coming on and you can see the address bar. So it's been adding uh, pages and colon experience. So pages is the named outlet which I have defined as auxiliary route. So when I close it, so you can see it's been now again been clear out. So I don't I don't uh, I didn't want it to create a navigate application from a screen to a screen then come on that back screen. So this is how not uh, actually want to create a whole single page kind of uh, uh, area where I can apply next generation animation. So that's what actually I did. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this auxiliary routes and stay tuned for more angular updates. Thank you so much. Bye bye.